Um, fortunately, I have more than one Philco from that era, including my 37620 right up here. And that speaker looks like it's an exact replacement, as well as the part. And it does say part number 327019N, I believe. So we're going to check that transformer, output transformer, and see if it's good. Okay, I've got the um, cover for the output transformer off on my 37620. We're going to check the output transformer on this one and see if we get the uh, correct reading. And Yes, we get 407 ohms, so the output transformer on here is good. So, it looks like I'm going to be doing a speaker swap, since the output transformer is riveted onto the back of the speaker. So, the speaker's free. Put that aside. Need to make room for the 37620 tombstone. Pull it down here so I can pull the speaker out of it. Takes four screws to remove it, or four nuts, I should say, right there. But first, I think I'll disconnect the wires. Okay, let's see what kind of condition this speaker is in. I know the output transformer is good. This speaker looks pretty good. Looks like it's in as good a shape as the uh, other one. So I think it'll be a nice even swap. I just need to uh, dust it off a little bit. Okay, so this is the speaker out of the 37610 that has the bad output transformer. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that back in here. Okay, that speaker is safely tucked away. I'll have to get in touch with my parts guy, Wilbur, to see if he has a spare output transformer that he can sell me when I go to restore this one. Okay. So after the uh, output transformer, the next thing to check would be the voice coil, I believe. And I didn't do that before I pulled this. So let's check that. It doesn't give a measurement here, but I pulled the paperwork from my Philco 620, which was the, a year prior to this one. And it stated that the voice coil should be around 0.89 ohms. So I imagine this one might be pretty close. So let's see what it says. It says it's 0 0.1, 0 
right at about 0.3. Okay, I got the wires put back on there, so let's solder them on. Okay, so now we have a new speaker, a replacement speaker installed that we know should be good. So now we can move on to checking the other coils. Which would be the, the IF coils, the oscillator for the broadcast and the police, the oscillator for the shortwave, the antenna for three different bands. First and second IF transformers. We need to check all those and make sure they are good. So checking the antenna and oscillator coils proved to be a bit of a challenge. The design is considerably more complicated for the 1937 models over the 1936 models. On the 1936, if I recall, all of the contacts, most of the contacts are accessible underneath the chassis. But because of the way this RF section was built, these contacts aren't readily accessible directly on the coils without taking the whole unit apart. So after studying the schematic a little bit, I determined that you, you can measure the input side of the antenna coils by putting your probes on the red and black or the, or the one and two screw contacts on the antenna input on the back of the chassis and by turning the band switch to the different bands and you can measure the sum of each of the coils. And I did that and all the input side of the antenna coils checked out. The output side was a bit more of a challenge. On the output side you can put one probe on the grid cap of the 6A8 tube, the, the wire that connects to the grid cap. And on the other side, you can put your probe at this junction, which is connected to the, I believe that's the output side of the first IF transformer right there. And over here is the one meg resistor number 36. So if you put your probes there and there and then turn the band switch you should be able to measure the uh, output side of the antenna and I was able to do that. The oscillator coils, the oscillator section, I actually skipped over that in the hopes that the oscillator section would be good and I wound up having to tear apart the uh, whole section and this is this is shown in the video coming up and I was able to finally measure all these and they all appear to check out <laughs> 